Mr. Speaker, as someone who grew up in Inkster, who went to the Inkster school system, and who now represents this great community, and the other cities also comprised in the 11th State House District, the school aid fund budget greatly concerns me. I can give you a unique perspective as to what it means when the school district closes in the community. Mr. Speaker, it rips the heart out of it. Parents like to know that their kids can go to school just down the block. They like knowing that they can easily get their children school for parent-teacher conferences or for after-school events. They like knowing that their children's school friends will be their neighbors. They like knowing that the teachers are also their neighbors. Schools are an important part of a community, and when you close a school, and when you close a school district, you rob them of this. This school aid fund bill threatens to take what the legislature did to Inkster and repeat it across the state of Michigan, and I can't bear to see that happen. Instead, we need to do more to support our schools and to help them improve, threatening our schools and our communities with closure and devastation doesn't help them. It just puts them under more stress. And you know, I hear a lot about the record dollar amounts, but people don't want rhetoric, they want results. And I don't see them in this budget. Instead, I see a poison pill that threatens to empty our classrooms and our schools and the spirits of our community. I cannot support this, and I encourage my colleagues to join me in, in voting no. Thank you.